Hi gang, today I'm going to show you how to make a testimonial block slider uh, that comes from a blog right here. So it's really easy to change and update and put throughout your entire website. Uh, this works in Squarespace 7.0 and Squarespace 7.1 so and the same steps apply to both so you can put it wherever you want. And if you stick with me to the end I will give you the code to show you a different style of uh, testimonial block if you want to do that. So stick with me through the end. So here we go, let's jump in. Alright, so as always, here is my little blog on my website about it. Um, we're going to jump straight to this video. It's going to go here to our steps here. You can read all the steps. Uh, you have to add in the summary block in a specific way and create the blogs in a specific way. And so make sure you follow these steps as we do it, but I will go through it right now. So first, let's jump into our testimonials here. You'll see I added four testimonials and each one Let's jump in to edit each single, each one of these. You can see, so this is sort of the headline. This is gonna be, the title of the blog is gonna be the headline testimonial. And you really don't need anything in there. I, I put it in there. And then the excerpt here, that is gonna be the actual testimonial itself. So this, this excerpt and the title here are going to be what you see right here here let's move back to the testimonial page right here so this is the title and this is the excerpt so make sure those have the correct testimonials and copy that you want so let's jump back into testimonials and then make sure you add your tag as the title the person's title so this is my mom and then the category is the person's name so it might be like you know CEO John Smith, something like that. And then over here in the options, make sure the image is there, post URL doesn't really matter, and like I said, the excerpt is right. So once you put all those testimonials in that way, then you're good to add in the CSS and JavaScript to make sure it works correctly. So add those in, I have my four testimonials there. Here is my testimonial slider. I am going to get rid of all of the code and add it in with you. So I'm just going to copy all of this and then delete it and then we will move it over from my website. So then go to the code section, copy all of this CSS, copy and just paste it in. And like always you need to update this section ID. If you're in 7.1 this will be just your collection ID. Uh, so, Or if you have the index with pages this will just be your hashtag page name. Uh, but let's find the section ID for this section. So I'm going to make this big, pull it out, grab my section ID, hover over here. You see data section ID. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to copy that. That was in developer mode. If you didn't know, you should set up developer mode. Uh, and then we'll just paste it in here. So everything within these square brackets. So I'm pasting it in right there. And boom, there it is. And so sometimes Squarespace, it doesn't automatically render. So you can just hit this open and then the images will pop. So there we go. Super simple. But here's part of the problem. A lot of times when you do this, a big downside to this is if you click on it, it'll bring you to that blog. And obviously we don't want that. You could add into the blog. Let's see. You could add a post URL so it would forward if you clicked on that blog instead of going to the blog, if you clicked on the testimonial instead of going to this testimonial page here, you could add the a source URL here and so it would link over there but we don't always want that. Sometimes we just want the testimonial there. So that's what this JavaScript is going to do. So you can see I have some JavaScript down here and basically this is saying uh, once we put in our summary block here um, if there isn't a link in there, so if there isn't a link in this, that post URL forward section, right here, options, if there isn't a link in this source URL, meaning let's forward on, then let's remove all the href attributes. So that just means let's just remove all the links. Like we're just not going to link out to anything. So that means, uh, as you could see, I already had it added right here. 
Uh, as you can see on this, I can't, if I click, even though it's a blog post, there's nowhere that I can click on it that'll bring me to that blog post, which is what you want, because you don't want it to go anywhere. So you just, let's see if I put it, I don't think I put it in there. I think I put it in my page, header, attributes, let's see, settings, advanced, code injections. Okay, hold tight real quick. Let me see where it is. Okay, I found it where I had put it was just below this script here, below our summary block. You know, sometimes it glitches like that. Below our summary block here, uh, we have our, my code block. But since we have this right here at the top, which says don't run any of the code until the page is fully loaded, I'm just gonna delete it from there and add it to. So right now, since I don't have that code, you see my cursor, how it how it changes to that click. If I open it in a new link, it's just gonna it's gonna bring me to that article. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So I'm gonna hit this gear icon and just put it right up in there. Boom, there we go. Make sure this block uh, UE is, is specific to your testimonial block. I'll show you how to find that real quick. And now you can see my cursor, it doesn't change. It's not a link anymore. So to find that block UE, done. Why don't let's go into developer mode again. I want to hover over to where it uh, complete it, it is surrounding the entire testimonial block and then click. And then over here on the left you'll see I'm in this div and look down for this ID. So this ID equals block UE with a bunch of numbers. Just copy that. For this one, we're doing inside these quotes. So inside those quotes, ID equals quote, and then copy everything inside that. And then that is what I put here in the page header, right there. So hashtag that number right there. Okay, so there we go. That's how we get the testimonial block set up. A couple caveats on mobile doesn't really work that well because Right now I have this set to two wide. If I change that, um, if I go down to mobile, having two wide on mobile does not look very good at all. So I changed it just to one wide. The problem is these buttons don't realize. These buttons only think I should only be able to click once. And so you lose the other two testimonials. One way, for me, it's a worthwhile trade. Uh, if you don't wanna do that, one way to get around it is to hit edit and just to change this to one wide instead of two items per row just change that to one hit apply you probably want to like bump this in a little bit because that seems super wide so I'll put some spacers around that hit save and then when you go to mobile you can see it's I'm gonna have all four so easy enough there that's a good but that's just up to you however you want to do it all right, and finally, if you want to learn how to do this style with your testimonial, just sign up for my newsletter. I'll send you access to how to, um, on how to do that. And I think that is everything. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a comment and let me know if you have any questions.